Now, concern is rising tonight after the collapse of California's Silicon Valley Bank. The fallout is the second largest in the U.S., and the federal government is now stepping in. CBS H. Rocio de la Fe shares insight from a local economist on the impact it could have for us here and on the entire financial system. The collapse happened after the bank failed to raise enough money to shore up its balance sheet. That led to a wave of people pulling money out of the bank, which caused it to go under. The nation's 16th largest bank is now under the control of the U.S. Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation. As people pull their money out of the bank, uh, the bank eventually uh, collapsed. Uh, it, its assets were being, being drained. Economics professor at the University of San Diego, Alan Jin, calls Silicon Valley Bank's failure significant. It's a major financial institution. A particular worry is that a lot of uh, companies, a lot of tech companies, for example, had deposited money in the Silicon Valley Bank, uh, and a lot of that uh, money wasn't insured. Jin says the tech-focused bank's collapse could have an impact on local startup companies. We have our share of startups and, and tech companies here in, in San Diego. And again, I don't know how many of them had money there, but uh, if they did, uh, it's, it's likely that they're going to lose at least some of that money. And, and uh, I hope then that it doesn't uh, adversely affect the companies then in terms of being able to meet payroll or, or, or other finances. He says the bank's downfall stemmed partly from the Federal Reserve's aggressive interest rate hikes. The Federal Reserve been increasing interest rates to try to uh, slow down inflation. And what that did is that caused the initial public offering market, the IPO market, then to uh, to, to to decrease, uh, to be adversely affected. So companies, you know, couldn't raise money through these IPOs. Jen says he doesn't believe more mainstream banks will be impacted. For a typical person who has their money in in Wells Fargo or Bank of America or Chase or something like that, uh, they don't have to worry. Ironically, Jin says the fallout could have a positive effect on interest rates. Now the Federal Reserve, I think, is going to look at that and may be a little bit more cautious now in terms of raising interest rates in, in fear that they might do some serious damage then to the financial system. Insured deposits are expected to be available as early as Monday, but those who remain with Silicon Valley Bank face an uncertain timeline for when they'll be able to get their money back. For Sia de la Fe, CBS 8.